The next kind of video project I want to talk about is an issue commercial, or how to make a video about an issue. Let's take a look at what that is entailing. In my class, this would be project number two that students would undertake. And a key part of this is I limit it to 30 or 60 seconds because you really want to get to the point quickly. And in this, my students will each group select an issue. It could be a political issue or it could be a social issue. And what I want them to do is come up with a creative way to promote that issue or to raise awareness of that issue, to help people understand what kind of issue that is, what are the details of that issue. And it's kind of going to look like a commercial that you see on the internet or you see on TV. Very quick to raise what an issue is. It could be any issue, and I allow the target audience to be anyone that the group can define. So, in this case, you want to take a topic that's a social topic or a political topic and really kind of bring it out. Now, in such a short time, you've got to be clear yourself on what that is, right? So, it's not an easy thing to do, but you need to clarify in your own brain. So, the points to pay attention to when you do this is you need to make the issue very, very clear. I'm sure you've had times when you watch a commercial, you watch a video, and you're not really sure what the topic is. That is not an issue commercial like this. You need to really make that issue very clear. Now, another thing you need to do is give people a very clear idea of what action to take. When I say take an action, it means if there's an issue, then you're saying there's something wrong. Maybe it's a political problem, or maybe it's a social issue, and now they should do something to make it right. If you don't say what to do to make it right, it's really hard to get clear that there is an issue at all. So this is not really a video that's helping people just to train something or to learn something. You know, when you learn something, you can say, I learned something and that's the situation, but I don't know in the future what the solution is. This is very short, very quickly, right to the point, saying this is a problem and here's the solution, the action you need to take to fix that problem. When we see our examples from my student groups, you'll get a better idea of how they handle that. But I think this is a really tough one because you need to be very, very specific with the problem and with the solution. Um, well, let me just jump back here for a second. Let me give you a simple example. How about um, the issue of people crossing the street without going to the corner. I mean, that could be a social issue. People cross the street and they don't wait till they get to the corner. They cross in the middle, what we call jaywalking. Well, you can make a video very short saying, this is the problem and the solution is walk to the corner, right? Um, what about people uh, talking on their cell phones in a movie theater? Maybe that's a social issue that you think is important to talk about. So you could make a video about Here's the problem, people talking on their cell phone bothering other people, and the solution is turn it off. So you show clearly, turn it off is the answer. So in these kinds of issues, you need to really have a solution right there, within that 30 seconds or 60 seconds, depending on which one you choose. And lastly, you kind of need to show that something good is going to come from that action. That when, when I take that action, I'm going to have some benefit. It's going to make me happier, or it's going to make someone happier. It's going to be a good thing. So that's kind of an issue commercial. And my students, you know, they do an interesting job of the issue. Now, let's go to the hardware table. But before we go to the hardware table, I want to show you something on the screen because I think it's a little bit clearer if I show you on the screen rather than I show you on the piece of paper. Take a look at that here. Okay, this is a release form. Let me get down to the English one here. There we go. A release form. Now, what is a release form? Very important. Uh, this is a way for you to make sure the people who appear in your video, they talk in your video, or you have a picture of them recorded in your video, that they agree to let you use their image or their voice in your video. Don't forget your video, the whole goal is to have somebody see it. But even if your goal is just to make the video, what happens someday if it 
gets released or gets onto the internet or somebody else watches it. This can cause a lot of trouble. So you need to have a release form. And a release form is just an agreement to say that I, the person in your video, agree that you can use my image to go ahead and show in your video. So you can see here that usually we begin with a title, it's a release form, and we include information such as this salutation line to whom it may concern. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit on that. Yeah, okay. It basically says that I agree to let you use my information and here I've included me or my child because sometimes it could be children. If somebody is under 18, you need to get their parents permission. If they're over 18, they can give you their permission themselves. Now if somebody is just in the background of your video far away and you cannot see them clearly, then that doesn't really matter so much. But even then, there's nothing to stop you from saying, oh, you were in my video, can you sign this form? And certainly if they're closer or somehow involved in your video, you should do that. And let's say you have a group, you have a group of students and you're making a training video for your school, for your department, that's great. But what about the classmates that are in the video? You should have everyone sign a release form and then save that form. Because you don't know what's gonna happen in the future. Let's take a little bit closer look here at the form. So here you have the title of the production. So in this blank space, I am going to write this. So this is the space for me to fill in. This is my movie I'm making. This is the video I'm making. And then here the person will say, I agree. I grant you or your successors and I assign this license. Now you can go on the internet and you can find many examples of release forms. And you can probably just download some and use them. But then you also need to confirm that the person is 18 years of age or older. And then they go ahead and they sign it. And they can put in information like their name, but then they also need to sign it. So you sign your name and print your name. That's kind of a key point. And if it's their child, because they're the parent, the child's under 18, then you need to have the name of the child. And you can have an address and a phone number, but you know if they don't fill this in, that's not so bad. Sometimes people will be very hesitant to be giving you their phone number and address, and maybe you don't need to do that. Let's talk about what does this really mean. So I'm going to go to the hardware table. Okay, here I am at the hardware table, and I've got my release forms here. And as you can see, just like on the video, we saw them. I've got one in Chinese, I've got one in English. So what does this really mean? Well, first of all, let's clarify. If you make a video and someone sees it, and I'm in your video, I can get very angry if I'm unhappy about something. Now what would I do if I'm unhappy about something? Well, I could complain. I could call you up. Now, normally, if we make a video and we have a group of students, maybe your friends, your classmates, and everybody's happy, we make the video, then the video is done. But later, somebody says, you know what? I don't like being in that video. I don't like it. Usually what you have to do just to be a good person, just to be morally correct, is take the video out of circulation, take it down if it's on YouTube, maybe re-edit it so that that person is not in the video if they complain. I mean, you really don't have many options. If somebody doesn't want to be in it, then you just have to go with the flow and be nice about it. However, the release form is more of a legal situation. That is, in the future, let's say, you have your video, and your video is given to the school because you made it to train students who are freshmen to help them learn something. And then you gave your video to school, and then the school put the video onto their website. Well now, because the school is an organization, someone could sue the school, could go to court and ask for money to sue them. Of course the school could just take the video down, but then they would still be open to a lawsuit from someone. Even after they take it down, it's possible. So by having the release form, you can 
give your video to the school, to the university, and you can give the release forms to the university. And then when the lawsuit happens, they can say, no, this person agreed to be in this video. We may agree to take the video down because we're good people. We don't want to make you angry, but you cannot sue us. And if you do sue us, you can't win because you did sign. So that's what this form does. It protects you in the end and others who use your video in the end from lawsuits. That doesn't mean it protects you from people being angry. If they want to be angry, they can be. And you should be a good person and try to make them satisfied. Take them out of your video or take the video down altogether. These release forms are important because if you're doing a project and then you give the project to someone, or someone shows your project, like your university, they could be in big trouble if you don't have this. So I always have a release form ready. I have a box, a bag of them, a folder of these ready. And when I go to location to shoot, I'm ready to take them out and just hand them to someone who's in my video. Even if the people in my video are my good friends and I know them very well, I still ask them to sign a release form. So be professional and be safe and protect yourself and protect others who maybe want to use your video too to do something good. Protect them by having release forms ready and signed. Good luck.